We weren't going to sleep on Great Lakes. Um, they came here two years ago. We went in overtime. I think I downplayed it a little bit too much uh, about that game. And last night, they just went in. Uh, a couple nights ago, they went in um, probably down to the last minute or so, lost one point to uh, the team that won our conference last year. So our guys were – I hats off to them. Those guys, they've been traveling. They've been down here for four days, third game in four days, and they were still ready. But I think our guys were pumped as well. So when you look at the offensive end, we did a lot of great things. Um, and I told you once before, and I'll say it over and over, I want to get guys and multiple guys in double digits. And we're able to get four guys in double digits with two more at nine points. So we moved the ball a little bit today, got open shots, and uh, thank God for Farmer. I mean, he first half, five for five. We see it every day in practice. And it's like for a coach, you know, it's our dream to see our guy who lights it up in practice to have one of those games. That's the goal. And uh, he was able to do that tonight. Well, it was all about defense. It was all about defense and taking pride. We had guys shooting in our face. And there's one thing we don't have a kid split in the court or a kid misses his gap protection or kids lazy getting back. But we had guys scoring right in our face. And so I got on them a little bit. And that's what I love. I mentioned it a couple games ago about our leadership. I'm able to dig into these guys uh, because they know how passionate I am about them as a team and individually. And we have the leadership that the next guy – when I walk out of there, you got a guy who's nudging them, hey, pick it up. You know, the guy who's going to back me up, but also motivate him to go out and do the job. And I love how Brandon Younger, I got on him because he was guarding one of the better scores tonight. And second half, that guy didn't score on him. Uh, he got his eight points from a loose ball uh, on another player and then technical foul shots. But he went out and locked down. And so our sense of urgency has to pick up. And that's what a lot of the conversation was at halftime and even at the end of the game. Honestly, Earlier in the season, you look at the games that we lost, uh, those first five, it came down to the wire in that last five-minute stretch. Either we had foul trouble or, you know, we just didn't have the legs for some reason. And, well, the reason was we weren't deep and we were waiting on Milton and Farm uh, to be able to get on the court for us. So um, it really opened up. You see now, now we're able to come in and have 35 pin points off the bench. I mean, that's amazing. That's amazing. These guys can start for – for any other team, I think, in the conference. And to be able to bring two potential starters off the bench to be able to keep the, keep the flow going, especially offensively, that helps, it, helps us out a lot. After what we did in the first half, I told our guys we're going to practice hard tomorrow. I'm still a little disappointed that we gave up so many points in the first half. Um, but Florida National, we're not sleeping on. Um, our guys, my job is to make sure they're ready. Last year they came in and they beat us. And it was it was embarrassing to us. It was embarrassing to me. And I want our guys, our returners, they remember that. They're hungry. And their job is to let the, you know, the newcomers, to let all those guys know, like, hey, we're going to treat this like a conference game and prepare ourselves for the season moving forward.